laced up. Um, still loose. I gotta set the, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but I, I gotta set the, the rim centering. I gotta set the hub centering of the, uh, the rim there, so. But yeah, looks pretty good. Not bad. Um, I got the rim locks cleaned up. I have the rear hub ready to go. I ended up getting a new set of psychic I hope these fit that's one thing I didn't check but these are the rear spokes and nipples so well uh, they should fit I don't see why they wouldn't the guy said they were for their uh, OEM or they are OEM replacements and then I just got to clean up the collars and uh, spacers and the, the lock and stuff. Probably clean up the bolts. Stuff like that. So uh, that rim is going to be next. And then uh, we'll start getting these things trued up. So looking pretty good. But as far as uh, setting this up, it wasn't too hard. Um, I just started with the bottom spokes first. I put all the bottom uh, spokes which are kind of like the inside, I guess. I put all those ones in first. So I went all the way around and then uh, put all the top ones in. And then I set the rim down. And uh, the way that it's recommended is that you find the numbers on the inside of the rim. And then you can face them down or face them up. And then just make sure that the whatever side the... Um, the numbers on the rim are you put the brake disc on the same side so i did that and then uh you have directional holes and so you just start with uh, the first set uh, pop them in there um, i used some anti-seas <clears throat> so and then a little brush you get a package of these for like five bucks so i did that now uh, brushed on each of the um the thread set of threads and then just threaded the nipple through the back and then worked my way around and i only threaded them on just a couple threads just a couple threads onto the actual spoke and then flipped the whole thing over and then uh, laced up the other side and did it the same way and then i went around and started at the rim lock hole and then you start with the first set of spokes and you can either count one two three and then do the do the next one and what I did is I just tighten them up to uh, the last thread and then went to the next one went to the next one next one next one next one next one next one and then uh, you just work your way over to the next set of spokes and this is the the one going the same direction but on the opposite side so then it just kind of tweaks it evenly. So you do one round, two round, three rounds, four rounds, and you'll get all the spokes tightened up. And they'll be tightened up evenly. Not tightened up, but, you know, I don't even know what you call it. Not tightened up, but just, uh, you know, to where they're all in place, but not tightened. And yeah, you want to make sure that you get, um, you get your anti seize on each one of the threads was time consuming but you know i don't have to worry about those uh, seizing up on me ever so um now that i got that i'm going to go ahead and check the spacing here i'm going to take this towel off and then i'll probably end up putting just like a piece of paper down just so i don't uh damage the powder coating i don't think it's going to do it um, either way, and then uh, uh, what you do is you measure from the bottom of the rim down, and for the, at least for, I believe it's 04 to 08, the distance from the bottom of the rim to the surface should be, I believe it was 28 millimeters, plus or minus one millimeter, and then for the rear hub and rim 
it will be 48 millimeters if I remember correctly. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, if it needs to be lowered, now what you do is you just loosen up the top, all the all of these top spokes here, um, just to get it down. And then you can just put your, both your hands on either side of the rim and just kind of shove it down a little bit. And then once it's set, um, you can tighten up the snug up the bottom spokes if that's what needs to be done. And if it needs to be raised, then you can uh, just tighten up the tops, top set of the spokes. Or maybe you could even just tighten up, if it needs to be lowered, you can tighten up the bottom spokes. If it needs to be raised, you can tighten up the top spokes. And then uh, once that's set, you can go ahead and snug them all up to where they are basically touching, to where they start to touch the rim and they, you feel resistance. And then you can go ahead and put it on the truing stand and true it up from there. So. But that's it. So far, so good. Pretty excited. I think they're going to look real good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lace up this rear rim. And I started with the long spokes first. The long spokes will go on the bottom hole, which is going to be the innermost hole as well. And that's why you want the longer ones. So once you get the longer ones in, you can move to the shorter ones. And you'll want the shorter ones to just go ahead and sit right over the longer ones. All right, and then once you're done with that, we can move to putting the nipples on. You want to make sure that when you line these up, it's pretty obvious as far as the, the holes. You have some that face up and some that face down. And then each set of holes, they'll either face towards each other or away from each other. You start with two holes that face each other and then these spokes will line up. So you wanna do the top spoke. Always start with the top spoke first. Okay, so that is the first side. We're gonna go ahead and flip the rim over and lace up the other side. It's going to be the same process. We'll start with the longer ones, we'll lace those in, and then we'll put the shorter ones in over top. And remember to put the long spokes on the bottom inside hole. So now this time the holes are going to line up automatically, just lift and screw on the nipple.
All right, now we're gonna go around and tighten up all the nipples to about one to two threads left that are showing on the spoke. Just gonna go ahead and start at a hole again. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start putting bearings in these. Already heated this up a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Just going to go ahead and heat it up a little more. I'm going to go get the bearing real quick. These bearings are all 6905 2RS. Oh wow, it pushed almost. This is a Pro X uh, rear wheel bearing kit and seals 23 S112050. Next, we're going to put the bearing retainer ring in. We're just going to use some blue Loctite. Gonna give a little pop. All right, we'll set this off to the side and get the front wheel bearings installed, and then we'll come back and put the seals in.
and the front wheel kit is in all balls. 109, 380, 0008. Comes with bearings and seals. Okay, so I am all done setting the spokes. They're all snug. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up the chewing stand. About as good as it's gonna get. I think there's um, like just little divots in the rim. I want to say bends, slight bends in the rim, and it's not a brand new, brand new rim. So it's. I mean, I went over this thing, the fine tooth comb. It's I don't know what is up with this thing. So that's as good as I can get it. So I'm going to go around and torque all these to 2.7 foot pounds. So I'm just going to start at 
this big hole here. And then uh, I'm going to start in this one, skip two, do that one, skip two, and then do that all the way around. And then I'm going to go to the next hole, or the, I'm sorry, the next spoke, skip two, skip two, skip two, all the way around. And then the third spoke, skip two, skip two, skip two, and that'll cover them all. So I have this set to 32 inch pounds, basically 2.7 foot pounds. Alright guys, that is it. Um, it was quite a quite a job, um, but I did get them powder coated and um, I ended up getting new rear uh, spoke kit for um, that rim and uh, I was able to, uh, the front spoke, spokes were pretty good condition so I just kept them, but the back spokes were pretty bad so yeah I just went and replaced them. It was like 65 bucks for the kit so it wasn't too bad at a local shop uh, magic racing is what it's called so if you guys are local check them out pretty sweet store there's also um magic power sports so there's quite a few around here i've gotten stuff from rosenau motor city and just the, all the local stuff but, but that's it if you guys enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and the alert bell then we can come on back, check out what we got going on. Don't forget to smash that like button. Always appreciate that. So we'll see you guys in the next video. So take care. Ride, ride, ride safe. Come on back. And as always, God bless. We'll see you guys next time.